welcome to my home. My name is Becky and I'm so excited that you're here. If this is your first time, I wanna welcome you and let you know kind of what we're doing here. My, uh, Like I said, my name is Becky and I am 43 years old. I am a new empty nester, my husband and I. We had our kids um, when we were 18, 19, 20 years old. So somewhere in that in that range, 19, 20. And our kids have grown up and left us and we are just, you know, living the best life that we can, trying to figure out how, how to, how to proceed, I guess, at this point. Um, things are very different now. Um, so my husband and I, we go antiquing a lot and we collect a lot of things and I'm just sharing them with you and showing you different ways to use them in your home. We mix the old with the new, the vintage with the Hobby Lobby, and we just kind of put it all together. And I like to call it Vintage Farmhouse. And today, if you didn't see last week's video, we decorated uh, an open shelf. It had five uh, different shelves that we decorated, and I filled it full of some of my amber glass. I still have a lot more, but I do collect amber glass and along with other vintage goodies. And I filled that shelf full and I showed you what it looked like. And then this week I took everything back down and I'm gonna show you a different way to decorate because I do realize that not everybody has the same collection I do. So I wanna give you a couple of different options on how to uh, decorate this shelf. It's an Amazon shelf. It's a very modern, new shelf that you can get right now today if you just go on Amazon and find it. So um, originally I had picked it out to put Ray Dunn on. The Ray Dunn thing didn't kind of just, did, I, I, I wanted to do it. I liked the idea of doing it, collecting it, but it just didn't stick. Uh, the colors just didn't work for me. So we went a whole different direction and if you watched last week's video, you'll see the direction that it's it's kind of evolved to. Today, um, before we start decorating the shelf, I want to show you a quick haul of things that I've picked up uh, over the last couple of weeks. Some are from antique stores, some are from thrift stores. The most, my favorite piece I'm gonna save for last, but I'm gonna show you, um, a few of these pieces are gonna be on the shelf, so you're gonna get to see those. Um, the first thing that I want to show you, I got eight of these. These came from the thrift store. They were $2 a piece. So, like I said, I have a set of eight. They are, um, they're used. They're, they're definitely well loved and they have been used in their lifetime. These are from the 70s. Um, I don't know if they went through the dishwasher too much or if people just really, really use these glasses, but that's okay, I've seen them in much better shape, but the price also goes up with the better quality. But I do like these, and I was happy to find those at the thrift store. I found this little basket. This is not a real big thing, but when you're decorating shelves, this is neat to kind of put greenery in and just use it as a background item, just to kind of have a different texture, different, you know, mix the, when, when I say farmhouse and vintage, you want the colors from the vintage, but you also want the neutrals from the farmhouse and you have to kind of tone down because the, the, the vintage gets a little loud. So I have to keep it toned down with things like wicker and wood and greenery and things like that. This next item came from an antique store, a little local antique store. Um, it does not match anything in my house, but I thought that it would go well with the 4th of July decor that I have up now. So I did get this little dish towel. Um, it was only a couple of dollars. This antique store is very reasonably priced. Um, and I think it's really cute. I think it would be cute hanging out of, like, a, like if you had your little blue and white 4th of July display, maybe have that hanging out or something. Maybe a little bigger basket, of course. But I thought it was cute, so I picked that up. The other item that I got, this, I can't remember if this came from the same antique store. I think I might've gotten it at the same time as the glasses, but I can't remember. Thrift store, not antique store. Um, it was just a couple of dollars. No, you know what? I remember now it came from the um, Goodwill. Came from the Goodwill. It's just a little candy dish. It's got a brass top to it. It's different. Whenever I did, 
if you can see behind me, this is my china hutch that my husband made and I decorated it. Each single shelf had a different idea of how to decorate vintage style. And I did one that had the green avocado and the amber mixed together. And I really liked that. So I thought well, I'll pick up a few more of the green pieces because my husband likes the green also a lot. So I thought I'd add a few pieces in for him. This dog is laying right underneath my feet. I don't know if you see if you can see him or her or not. Look. <laughs> so if I trip, if I step backwards and I trip, it's her fault. <laughs> That's my daughter's dog. Her name is Daisy. You've met her one time before. Okay. I got a couple of doilies. These are, I originally bought these for a bigger, um, table for my side table but it didn't look right so i'm going to use them on the shelf today but those were a dollar a piece I, I do believe i picked up a new piece of stoneware you can see the um let's see let me turn it upside down this is color stone by nico just a different one that i don't have i know you can't really see but i do have a small collection of the single uh stoneware over there uh, the other thing that I talked to you about when I was doing the hutch to decorate with me is that I really like the Corel way that I decorated it with the Corel. And I, I was thinking, you know, I'd like to get the rest of the set. So I, I, I found the whole set. So what I have, I'm going to sit this here carefully. I have these three and I have a set of eight. I just didn't bring them all out. I have these three sizes the golden butterfly and then I have this set and they did not have the Corel mugs they only had the Pyrex she gave me a good deal since I bought eight of them someone commented because I was confused as to why this would say Corel and this would say Pyrex the Corel was just I guess just glass and the Pyrex was milk glass. And if you look at the two pieces together, you can tell the difference. Um, and they cost more as well. So uh, the little antique store that I told you about, I got a few new books. I use these books as height. Um, I, you can see that the cover's coming off of that, so I have to be careful. But um, I just like the look of the old books. But again, the neutral mixed in with the vintage, the colors from the vintage just tones it down. I like to use these a lot in the house. Okay, the next piece I want to show you is this plate. And you can see it's a pretty large piece. It was $2.94 at the Goodwill. I'm going to show you a close up so you can see how beautiful these flowers are. Um, just these colors are the ones that I'm always drawn to. I just thought it was pretty. We're going to use this today in the shelf. I want you to see it being used. And then finally, the last piece. This is the piece that I'm most excited about. This came from an antique store. And I saw it and I didn't necessarily want to pay $40 for it. But yes, I did pay $40 for this. But I absolutely couldn't walk out the door without it. And it is an antique dish drainer. You can see this is where you would sit, stack up your dishes. This is where you'd lay your silverware. <laughs> I know I paid too much for it. I can hear you grumbling right now, but um, I love it. I think it's going to be adorable on my shelf, and I'm excited to own this. I think I could use it on top of the refrigerator, on top of my cabinets. I mean, I could use it so many different places and it made me happy and I smiled when I saw it, so I bought it. And that's the end of the haul. Um, right now, we're gonna switch cam the camera over and we're gonna go back to our tiny little cubby hole over there in front of the shelf. And I'm gonna show you how to put a lot of this stuff to use. All right, so let's get started. The top shelf is very similar to the way that it was last week. I did take down the one wooden bowl I've told you that this bowl right here, David made, my husband made, and I keep it on a, an easel so that you can see the beautiful stripes in the wood. Um, to me, it's a piece of art and not necessarily something that I wanna put things in. I wanna be able to see the inside of it. 
I'm gonna take these trivets. I've shown, shown you these trivets before. We're gonna add them here for some height. And then I have this little uh, vintage tin. I don't know what it was used for. If you know, I would be happy for any information, but I just like the colors. And I'm gonna put that right there. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, when I started to put the shelf together so that I could kind of know how, how it was gonna be displayed, I wanted to show you a different way. I didn't really know what direction I was gonna go into color-wise. A lot of my stuff is orange and yellow, as you know. In my mind, I had thought about going yellow and it took a different, different path. It's a little on the dark side. Um, it's just the way that it happens. So you're gonna find out in this next shelf what I mean by that, but it just worked out that way. It's still very pretty, but it is a little on the dark side. So you may wanna lighten yours up, of course, <laughs> but use what you have. Um, we've got a doily. I'm gonna put this here right on the edge. And you will remember this plate from our last uh, thrift store haul. I bought two of them. So we're gonna put that there as well. I'm gonna put it in the back in the center. And that's where the dark started. From there on out, everything started getting really brown, but it's still pretty, you'll like it, I promise. So you'll remember these beautiful guys. Let me show you my Otagiri Owls. I'm gonna use these. So I'm gonna put one here and one here and we're gonna display some books. I told you that I had, I use these a lot. Um, the colors are a little different, so I usually turn them this way so you can't really tell. Okay, there we go. Very pretty. And then always have pictures on display. I have a couple pictures of my girls and I just put them there and there. And we're gonna put a little bit of greenery in there. And that's it. That's all we're gonna do there. So that's shelf number two. Hopefully I got out of the way enough for you to see how that went together. <laughs> all right, let's go down to the next shelf. So for our next shelf, we're going to put our beautiful dish drainer. So we're gonna put that over here on this side. Actually, I'm gonna turn it this way. A little bit at an angle, because I like to put everything on an angle. I'm gonna use one of these doilies on this side. Okay, lay that there. And then I'm gonna put one of my old books here for some height. Just lay it there. Perfect. I have this crock. I've shown it to you before. It's just full of um, old silverware with beautiful patina on it. We're just going to sit that on top of the book right there. And then I've got a couple more old books that I'm just going to lean up against the crock just for a different texture. I guess we could leave the spine out on these because the colors are complementary. So I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna turn those backwards. And then I've got these, I've shown you these before, these salt and pepper shakers. And we're gonna put them right down here on the front. And then for the part, my favorite part, <laughs> um, these dishes here are very plain and simple. You're not gonna see them. They're just gonna look like you've got dishes stacked in there, but they were the ones that I used for height. So I'm gonna start stacking them here. Might be too close to the edge. Okay. And then one more. And I showed you this plate last week and this is uh, one of the commenters said, called it my soul plate and I love that. And this is always and forevermore gonna be called my soul plate because I said, these are the colors of my soul. <laughs> and I'm gonna display that right there. And then I've got some smaller dishes. 
These are just um, some stoneware, smaller size. We're just gonna stick those in there. It's kind of, I don't want them laying in front of this so much. I just wanna let them kind of, just kind of lay in there to the side. I've got a old one spoon. We're just gonna lay that there like it's drying as well. And of course, we're gonna put some greenery. So we're just gonna stick the greenery over here. I don't want it to hide anything anything here other than just add a little greenery. So that's it for that display. Move this over just a tad. There we go. I'm gonna show you a close up. So for this next shelf, we're going to put this wicker basket and I'm just gonna put it right in the center and we're gonna put everything inside that basket. It's just gonna give it a different texture, a different look. It won't be the same as everything else on the other shelves. Here's the big plate that I told you about. And of course you're gonna use a plate holder for this, but it's just not working to put it in a plate holder in this on this particular shelf. But luckily, since I use this basket, it holds it up pretty safely. It's okay. It doesn't really go anywhere. Okay, so that's gonna go there. And I do have it at a little bit of an angle. Okay. Now I have two different ways that I wanna style this and I want you to tell me which one you like better. The first one is going to be, I'm gonna put a book down there for just a little bit of height. And I'm going to put some blocks down here for height. This was my attempt to try to lighten it up a little bit because of all the dark colors that we were using. So I did try to add some color. So I'm gonna put this little, I've shown you this before. This is a cream and sugar set that I have um, with the sunflower design. It is not old, it is new. There we go, and I just have some little antique bobs stuck in there. And we're gonna put that there. And then I always add a picture, of course. Just have to make adjustments here. All right, and then of course you would add the greenery. And I would, of course, adjust it a little better if that's the way I was gonna keep it. So that's one option there. See what you think about that. And then here's the other option. Let me take this out carefully. And I've shown you these blocks before. We use these all the time. So this option, we, sh we would use this other owl bookend and just take the books left over, and we have a lot of them. Actually, I'm gonna turn them this way because the colors are a little too much for my eyes. So we're gonna turn them this way and lean them against the, the owl, like that. And then we're going to put our greenery, just kind of like that, just to let it, know that it's you can see it that's all so that's the second option this is the one I, I ultimately ended up keeping so i think this was my favorite but we're going to keep that one for now i'm going to show you a close-up shelf and my head has officially been cut off so <laughs> we've got the second of the doilies and we're gonna put it here on an angle and then of course I'm never gonna make any display in my home well not never but I would rather have pictures than anything so I'm gonna put some family photos up here and they're just the most important to me more than any decoration that I've got I've got this cutting board that I showed you last week. We're gonna put that back on a different angle than the 
than the doily was. And then I've got this little guy here I've shown you before. He is the little plate holder or toast holder or letter holder. We don't know which one. He's gonna go on the uh, cutting board. And then we're bringing back out our stoneware, the smaller dessert size. And we're just gonna put three in there and put them towards the back. And I think that's all we're gonna do on this shelf. I'm just gonna stick a little bit of greenery here. Maybe here, that'll work. And of course you want to fluff your greenery to make it to make it look better, but I'm having difficulties doing that, but we'll fix it. Here we go, there we go. All right, and a little greenery and we're done. option number two for the shelf. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some inspiration and some ideas. Um, hopefully it wasn't repetitive and you weren't thinking, what is this girl doing decorating that same shelf all over again? <laughs> but like I said, I just want to give you different options. You seem to like it when I did it for the hutch, so I thought I'd try it with the shelf as well. Um, I want to say this, I just want to say something real quick. If you if you get nothing out of these videos, if you get nothing, go in your storage unit, go in your cabinet, go in your little china hutch, pull out all those beautiful pieces because there's so much history behind them and I know there's so many stories behind them. This is what I picture. I picture this sweet little lady who is undoubtedly kin to you, great grandmother, grandmother, what, whichever it may be. I see her going to the store weekly or monthly and saving her stamps or saving up the points and getting these dishes and bringing them home a piece at a time, a piece at a time, adding them to her little china hutch. Um, I see her collecting these pieces in her collection growing and it bringing her joy. And then I see her pulling those dishes out on Sunday afternoons, feeding her family, maybe, you know, scolding your little brother because he was clinking a little too hard on her, on her good china. And I see at some point in her life, she decided that she was going to hand down her treasure to somebody else. And if you were lucky enough to receive one of those treasures, then I hope that you use them and that you enjoy them and you set them out and you are able to see them and have those memories daily. And I don't have a lot for my mom. Um, unfortunately, everything that she had was pretty much destroyed by uh, circumstances. So I think that's why I gravitate and hold on to these things so much because they're my pretend um, inheritance, I guess. <laughs> but if you, if you are fortunate enough to have something handed down to you by your um, grandmother or great grandmother, um, I hope you enjoy them and set them out in your home. I hear different people telling me that they do have collections that were handed down and I just hope that they're, they're displayed in your home. And, and this is just, these videos will give you an idea on how you can use them. And even though they're old and probably getting a little fragile, you can still kind of mix them in with the things that you already own and and be able to enjoy them daily so like i said if there's anything that you take from this video i hope that's it but i also want to say thank you thank you so much for all the beautiful comments and it gives me faith in the world again on, on all the beautiful comments that i get on this channel and for watching and subscribing and hopefully you're you're having a good time because i sure am i'm enjoying every minute of it but until then, I'll see you next week. See you later. Bye.